processes um, that a lot of our clients have is to look at yesterday's results and and uh, and text a friend and say a, a friend who's kind of doing something similar and say, "Hey, was your conversion rate down yesterday? Were your sales down yesterday?" Here you can see, was it just you, or was it the industry? Was there something globally that was happening? So here you can see, actually, the industry was doing a little bit better than average yesterday, and you were doing a little bit worse than average. Here's chargeback ratio. It looks like chargeback ratio is a significant strength, and that the benchmark, similar products, similar traffic, is has twice as high of a chargeback ratio. This is net member change, which I think is a really, really interesting number. Uh, for subscription businesses, this tells you um, if you're gaining more subscribers or losing more subscribers on a net basis. So this is telling you if you had 100 new uh, subscribers yesterday and you had 90 cancel, then you have a 10% increase. But if you had 100 cancel and only 90 new, then negative 10%. So yesterday, you can see that you were at, you were basically flat. The same number of people joined as canceled. And yet your average uh, is 30%, which is fantastic. So you're adding 30% more uh, new subscribers than are canceling. <clears throat> Without the benchmark, you would probably be throwing high fives around the office or virtually through zoom like that towards the camera. But with the benchmarking, you can say, Ooh, man, actually I'm not doing so well. I'm about a third down or I'm 25% down from where I could be. So 30% was amazing. I popped the bottle of champagne. Now I've got to stick the cork back in because 40 is where, where the industry is. Nice, nice. Uh, so let's check our chat first if we have any questions left there. Yeah, I see question from Dennis. He is asking why does decision making process interest you at all? Like general question, why uh, does that interest you at all? Yeah, I, I think it interests me because I, uh, I get really nervous and, and I get pretty upset when I, I don't know what to do. Um, and I feel a lot of anxiety around it. I prefer um, not to be in that state and to know as much as I can. But yeah, if I'm honest, I think it has a lot to do with being very uncomfortable when I need to make a decision and I don't really understand what's happening and what could happen and, and you know, one that really matters. So I think it's a way of kind of reducing anxiety and, and nervousness. Answer it. And uh, another question that I'm seeing right now is how much data, I guess, how much data is required uh, and for how long? Uh, and uh, for example, for setting the benchmark, how much data does one need to aggregate? I presume that's the question. Yeah. Um, let me see. Let me see how I can answer that. Um, there's a point at which we would not have enough data and we wouldn't share the benchmarking. So, um, what we're showing for the most basic example is we're, sh we're comparing the last 30 days, uh, data until we have 30 days, the benchmarking really is, is irrelevant. So I would say that's the short answer. 30 days of data. Ok, eh, esa entrevista se acabó. Like that.